Well then people, it's Joe All Leeds TV and it is time for your Leeds versus Hull City pre-match chat. Quick turnaround of games, quick turnaround of videos. I hope you've liked all the content from All Leeds TV. It's been a very, very busy time, but it's what you can expect in the Christmas period. It's what us English football fans love is the Christmas period um, and I for one am, uh, am absolutely buzzing because Leeds United are in a rich vein of form do just before we do smash into the video please smash a like please share subscribe and make sure you watch the rest of the lads content so then onto the game itself of course the Whites host the the mighty Tigers raw 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 uh, at Ellen Road uh, looking to make it 10 games unbeaten now quite a run and of course seven wins on the bounce in the Skybet Championship if we can get a positive result against Hull City tomorrow night. Obviously Hull last time out halted our seven game winning run last season. If you remember we went on quite a quite a strong run obviously the Hull game came just after our miraculous comeback at Villa Park and of course the even bigger comeback against Blackburn Rovers at home both three two games um, and then we went and, to Ellen Road and of course that man Jared Bowen and Hull City halted that seven game winning run we owe them one for that obviously we can make it seven wins on the bounce and ten games unbeaten um, if we can beat them tomorrow night at Ellen Road um, on to that main man then and I want to feature quite heavily on him because he is for me one of the best players in the championship he's premiership bound he's been doing it for a couple of seasons now at Hull City. I mean, he scored two against us in that 2-0 win at Ellen Road last season. I mean, just on Jared Bowen, this season, 20 appearances in the Championship, 14 goals, 4 assists, and 6 man-of-the-match performances. He's absolutely smashing it out of the park. I mean, he scored uh, 10 goals in his last nine appearances he's on he's in absolutely scintillating form uh, and he got both goals against Stoke City on Saturday as well so I mean what more can you say about Jared Bowen that hasn't already been said it was quite interesting in the press conference that Marcello Bielsa actually spoke about him for me I can't remember the last time he's yes the question may have been posed to him <clears throat> sorry but 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 I can't Think of the last time he's actually spoke on an indi on a specific individual. Um, <coughs> sorry, guys. But he also did say, just to quote him, we know how he plays. He's a very good player. He's dribbling. He's passing in behind and he scores goals. He is a great attacker. Um, you know, for me, definitely Premiership bound. I've seen Newcastle, Burnley, etc. A lot of teams looking at him. Um, and they'd be daft not to. I can't believe he's, he's still at Hull City, in all honesty. I mean that with the greatest respect, Hull City fans. But you've got to appreciate that he is Premiership player uh, in the making. Um, but like Bielsa did go on to say, um, he is someone we need to be aware of. Um, but he won't be causing Leeds to change their defensive approach. At the end of the day, we are the best defensive team in this division. So one individual shouldn't change that. We need to be on it. You know, we do. Let's not kid ourselves. They've got some very good talented players. Of course, Jared Bowen and Grzycki as well. Um, and we need to be on it. But I'm confident this defence can deal with the threat of Bowen and Hull City. Just on Leeds' defensive stats, of course, you know, best in the championship. Only 10 goals conceded in the division this season with 11 clean sheets. Um, you know, not only the best defence in the championship, one of the best in England, if not the. And of course, I believe we've got the fewest goals conceded across Europeans, uh, Europe's top leagues as well. Um, so we're well up there. It's 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 a well-oiled machine. Of course, KP's back as well. We did miss him on Saturday. I love Ben White. I did think he would be more suited to the role than actually panned out. But it was his first foray into that position. But I'm glad that Ben White will be going back into centre-back and, of course, you know, KP back in his, his, in his normal role. And, of course, we have Kiko in inspired form as well. Um, so, you know, defensively, we are very, very good. However, Liam Cooper does look like he's going to be out of the group again. Um, but, listen, I'm, I'm confident with Berardi at cover. I think at times he gets a bit of an unfair shake. A lot of players don't rate him. But for me, I'm happy whenever he's coming to the side. So that doesn't worry me. Um, Hull, Hull City do have players missing themselves, uh, a few doubtful, but four on four on the long-term absentee list, and, and the big players for Hull City. You've got Josh McGuinness, Kevin Stewart, 
John Terrell, and long-term absentee Novak Balahar. Um, they're all all how I, I do apologise for the pronunciation of, of Norbert uh, Norbert Balahar. I believe Hull City fans may correct me in the comments. But look, McGuinness and Torrell, for example, they have goals and assists between them. Um, and I know Connor mentioned Stewart in his preview as well. So these are these are big losses for this whole City side. And I believe they've missed the last two games as well. And if you look at results, yes, they beat Stoke, but they lost at Barnsley in their last two games. So these are key men that are missing from their side. It seems to be a constant theme. I know Borough had about nine players out, of course. Huddersfield had to uh, recall four players from, from on loan uh, because their, their squad was Fred Barron. Hull City have key personnel missing as well. So maybe it's an ideal time to play these teams. Um, but in terms of form, if we look at Hull, they're one of them teams in the championship that just go up and down constantly. So inconsistent for me. <coughs> There's a lot of teams in the divisions that are like that. I mean, They've got five wins in the last 10 games with only one draw. If you look at some of the wins, they've had some decent wins, you know. Um, at home against Preston North End, they, they beat them 4-0. Yes, Preston North End, I think, have lost four on the bounce now. Um, so Preston are in the best of form, but it's still a good result of it against a, a good Preston North End side. They beat Fulham 3-0 away. That's a huge result. Um, and they beat they beat Forest 2-1 as well. And we know Forest are a very good side and, and well up there. On the flip side, though, they then failed to win against Barnsley, losing 3-1. I think Barnsley have only won two games this season, that being their, their first. And they failed to beat Borough. Obviously, in that game, Borough went 2-0 up, if you remember. Um, I think it was Jared Bowen that that scored a, scored a worldie in that game and grabbed the game by the scruff of the neck. And that's what we need to be aware of with Jarrod Bowen uh, and this whole City side. But they are a bit inconsistent. It's one I am really, really nervous about. These these one of games I am nervous about. Prior to that, I was at Huddersfield. I was nervous about. Hull and Cardiff, both nervous about. Um, but listen, I'm confident. It, let's not kid ourselves. It's going to be tough. You know, they've got Jaron Bowen, one of the best players in the championship. And of course, Grzycki as well, who's, who's very, very dangerous. But I'm, I'm confident we can continue the run. Uh, it's going to be another cagey one for me. Uh, hopefully we score first and we score in the first half. And if that happens, we win in the game. Um, look, uh, just a bit of a stat for you. Leeds have been winning at both half-time and full-time in their last three home championship matches. So with that in mind, um, I think we'll win the game. I think we'll score in the first half and I think we'll win the game 2-0. Um, it's going to be tough, but if we score first and in that first half, I'm repeating myself, but yeah, we'll win the game 2-0. I'm going to leave it there. It's short and snappy. It's a big turnaround of videos. Please smash a like if you have like. Please put your comments and thoughts on Hull City, Jarrod Bowen, and of course the return of KP and this mighty Leeds United defence. The train just keeps on moving, and I am well aboard that train. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully see you tomorrow at the game. Please make sure you say hi, and I'll leave it there. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. Come on!